All right, flat rate mechanic here this morning, and I'm working on a 2018 Honda Odyssey. And they just got an accident. They replaced the rear bumper on this thing and installed some new crash sensors. And they're getting a light still that it needs to be recalibrated. So um, we have our Honda diagnostic system hooked up here. Uh, basically, this is just through AE tools right there. It's a factory um, software for Honda. You do have to buy a subscription to it, but we're all signed up here. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of this Honda diagnostic uh, system. We've connected to the vehicle already. And um, as you can see, most of this information was populated all by itself. Uh, the, the VIN number and the mileage, Odyssey 2018. Um, so we're just going to go in here and it forces you to put in a repair order number two before these options will come up below. We're just going to go ahead and scan it for diagnostic trouble codes. And um, go all. Now where this is a brand new vehicle, this is actually um, relatively new to me too so there might be a little learning curve to uh, getting into this and seeing how we can reset these parking this parking system or if we even can all right all DC this executes all DCC checks it may take some time all right let's go for it all right so it's running down through all the modules and it's going to um come back with any stored trouble codes that we have then we'll be able to identify which module this parking parking assist yeah and here we go right there um, parking DTC one parking sensor parking sensor DTC one And it says rear sensor, rear first sensor failure. So let's um let's click on this. See if we can uh Investigate this a little closer here. All right, we're just going to go over here where it says clear and um. We're going to go ahead and clear this from the parking sensor module. We can find it in this list. Parking sensor right there. So we're going to click on parking sensor. We're going to clear this out. And I'm pretty more, more or less just doing this uh, information, this video on a uh, Kind of uh, overview of the Honda diagnostic software, uh, only because I don't have a video on this yet. So I just kind of wanted to show people that were interested on what the software looks like, um, how it actually functions, and how it's used. All right, so DTC and freeze frame information will be cleared. Do you wish to continue? Yes. So anybody that's wondering, um, you know, how the software performs through AT AD tools and and they're interested in getting it this is a good hopefully it'll be a nice little video to just give you an idea of what it's all about okay so it's saying everything has been cleared so now we're gonna have to go back in and um oh, okay it's gonna do it automatically it's gonna go back through and read the codes again And we'll see if uh, we still have a current, uh, and it looks like, yep, yeah, we still do, so. Alright, so it looks like we're still going to have a problem in that 
looks like rear first sensor. So um, let's go back to go back here. Get here to the main menu and we're gonna select system and we're gonna look for the uh, park sensor here. I'm not sure which one it would be. Maybe body electrical. Let's try that. Park sensor, yes. Okay, there we go. And we're going to hit the tick. Move to the park sensor. Let's go to data list. Let's see what we got for data on this park sensor, see if there's any, um, see if it's showing anything. So this uh, Honda Diagnostics software is pretty robust. Obviously you can see we can go into the, um, right into the park sensors and we can actually see all this information. You know, I'm just kind of reading down through, seeing what's available here. Okay, it's telling me none of these spark sensors are operational right now for some reason. Left front distance sensor not operational, not operational, not operational, not operational. So, that is interesting. Let's, um, oh, and it says main switch is off. Alright, so I'm going to have to find that main switch and turn that on. Make alright, um, alright, so we got the main input switch that says it's off. And I found this switch that turns that on. You can see we got the light on the dash on right here. That's the little light that we're trying to get out, that crash sensor light. And um, over here, you can see we have our button right there. It shuts this on and off. And when we press that, we just get a message on the dash that says collision. Oh, let's do it again here. Collision. Migration braking system off. Okay, so it won't let us turn it on. That's because we have a malfunction here. And so let's uh, let's go back. Oops, shit, a little too far back. And we'll go back into DTCs. Now it says parking center DTCs none, which is very odd. So let's um. All right, I did the uh, recalibration and that did not work and we still have that false code. So what I went ahead and did is I uh, pulled the rear bumper off. We found a pinch wire from the accident. Went ahead and got that repaired. And um, it still wouldn't let us do the recal, but it seems like all the codes are gone. And this thing is fixed. So we're going to do a little further testing make sure it's all set. Okay, so we did find a uh, pinched wire for the crash sensor in the rear bumper on this Honda Odyssey. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to make sure this works. And the only thing we have to do in order to do that is uh, I'm going to go ahead and park this thing. And you can see these things are pretty nice too. These are all touch button shifts. So we click that to pop it in reverse. We're going to see our screen come up with our backup camera and um, as we back up the shing suits start beeping once we get close to the other vehicle here and as you can see it is so all our sensors are lit up and see warning approaching object and the closer you get as you can see it's in the red so that means we probably ought to stop we'll go ahead and throw it back in drive Pull up, pull up a hair, and now we'll put it in park. And we have no lights on the dash other than my seatbelt light, so I would say this thing is fixed. 
Um, basically, I just had to fix that pinch wire from the accident, and we went back in and cleared the codes, and everything was good. I uh, hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, um, appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channels. I'll be using lots of different factory software uh, on a pretty regular basis. We have everything from Ford, Toyota, Chrysler, you name it. We pretty much have it. So I'm always trying to do new videos on this kind of stuff. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, Flyer Mechanic.